Hey guys, so we've been getting a lot of questions uh, at the gym about different ropes and how long should my rope be, what rope should I buy, and so real quick we just want to come and go over the different types of ropes that are really popular right now and talk a little bit about rope sizing as well. Um, so we've got on the crush rope that's at the gym. I'll go over that a little bit here a little bit later. Those are always going to be there for you. You're probably familiar with that. Okay, the first step, this is my personal favorite. Let's see, Again Faster. You're going to go to againfaster.com. Um, right now I think they're all black with black handles. This is a little bit of an older model. Um, you can see right there, wires, it, it's good stuff. It spins pretty quick. Um, here's the thing, when these come, they come with a really long rope and you decide how long you want the wire to be and then you cut it off with wire cables. So you get to constantly decide if it's good enough, you just better hope you don't cut it too short. Okay, so that's the again faster rope. Um, this one's really popular with people as well. This is the RX jump rope. You see the thicker handles. Okay, uh, the neat thing about the RX jump rope is they come with a different, you, you can order the thickness of the cable that you want on there. The thicker the cable, the slower the rope's going to go around, the harder you're going to have to work to get it around, but the easier it's going to be for a beginner to do a double under. So you can order a thicker cable when you're just beginning to master the skill and it'll be a lot easier for you to spin around. The downside is, as you can see, they come pre-attached. You have to order your length. So you need to have an idea of how long you want your rope to be because when it comes, it comes and the only way to fix it is to order a new wire cable. Okay, so those are the RX jump ropes. And then lastly, this is just kind of new to the market. It's very similar to the, uh, the Again Faster. It's the Rogue rope that you can get at the roguefitness.com. Um, they're just trying to get in on the market. Uh, it's got a very good... Uh, you know, pivots right here, but the handles are a little heavy. They're a little, and if you like that heavier handle, then good for you. You definitely have control of it as you're spinning around, but it's not quite as light as the Again Faster. Other than that, still comes and you can shorten it and decide there. Now, how long do we need a rope to be? Um, there are different websites out there and people talk about how, you know, it should be, you step on it with one foot, two foot, it should be this high. I don't really buy into any of that because I think everybody is different. Uh, and everybody holds the rope in a different way. And I want you to slowly get to where you need to be and decide um, what rope you need based on your skill level and your technique level. Okay? So as far as how we're going around, the way I tell people is they're going around with the singles. When you're spinning, look at where the rope's hitting the ground. If the rope's hitting the ground like right there, here's where I'm standing, the rope was hitting the ground way out there, the rope is probably a little bit too long. Okay? The goal, what we want, is for the rope to barely be touching the ground underneath our feet. Just barely. Okay, that means we're jumping up and it's just long enough that it gets underneath our feet. So we just barely really want that nick of it going around. So you can see there, it's barely touching. Look how long my arm, wide my arms are. So some people say you should naturally be in here, to be honest. The closer we get in is the more efficient way to spin a rope. But it's going to be harder and harder to do technique-wise. Um, if you ever see... Get on YouTube and see those professionals. Their rope barely gets over their head, but you better hope you don't ever go like that or you're immediately going to miss. Okay, so basically your skill level normally, as you get better, people normally start to move their arms in. I've, I've trimmed my rope and got it shorter more and more as time has gone on, but that's gonna be up to you. So when you grab a licorice rope, spin it around and find out basically how long you need and then measure it, especially if you're gonna do that RX jump rope, and you're going to order that. So just get an idea and that's where we want it to be. Now be careful, sometimes when people do their singles, they'll be really close right here and then they go into this double and they go really wide like that immediately. So you want to be aware of that when you're making that happen. Other than that, with this information, and now you know the different ropes, you should uh, have a decent idea of being able to move in and buy a new rope and hopefully master that double under. Let me know if you have questions.